Latina 2021 to get some of my most valued Dragon Ball Super card slots signed by Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan's voice actors. Although the event was at 10 o'clock, I woke up at 7 o'clock to get there by 8 so I can be one of the first people to get in line to get all of my cards signed by Sean Schmel, the voice actor of Goku. At about 9.50, we all started to walk inside the Pasadena Convention Center. And by the time I got in line for Sean, I realized that he wasn't really there. But Kyle Herbert, the voice actor of Gohan, was already there. So I asked the person in front of me to hold my spot for me and I quickly got in line for Kyle to get my BGS9 Gohan signature signed. So this is the card. I feel like if it was a raw card, a metallic gold signature would have looked better. But since this card got a BGS9, I decided that it's better to get a silver signature. And I was pretty happy with it. After waiting for a really, really long time, I think around 12 o'clock, it was finally my turn to get my card signed by him. Well, the first card that I got signed is Ultimate Form Son Goku. It's this card that I pulled from the Mythic Booster Box last week. I got this card signed because it was my favorite pool from Mythic Booster Box. So I wanted to get Sean's signature on it to make it a little more special. The next card that I got signed is the Holy Grail of Dragon Ball Super PSA 10 Awakened Power. Okay, how lovely and gorgeous is this card? This card looks absolutely amazing with Sean's signature on it. And I think I'm gonna keep him like forever. The next card that I got signed was Hyper Evolution Super Saiyan 4 Son Goku. It's also a PSA 10 that I braided myself. The golden signature looks absolutely fantastic. Now that we went through all the good ones, this is a disclaimer that I do not need any disrespect to Sean or Chris, but it's simply my personal preference for how I like the cards to be signed. But then the way that Sean signed my most valuable and my most beloved card gave me a mental breakdown in the middle of the convention center. Ta-da! And this is a BGS10 Goku signature. Look at this. Sean signed right in the middle of Goku's face and it just completely covered up his face. According to him, I'm trying to sign right under my actual signature so it looks cool. He likes the way how signature looks exactly the same with the signature over here. So he thought it would make it look really cool. And personally, I told him for every single card that I wanted the signature to be on the part where the descriptions are. I just never thought he would actually sign it on Goku's face just because when I give you a picture of myself and ask you to sign it, then the last thing you would expect is for the person to sign on your face. It could be on their body, next to their head, above their head, but I just never expected the signature to be on his face. And while he was signing the card, I was absolutely distracted by the fact that I was speaking to Sean that I did not pay attention to where he was signing and by the time I realized that he signed right across Goku's face I had a mental explosion but since I didn't want to ruin the moment with Sean I smiled, thanked him and I wished him to have a great rest of the day. Meanwhile, I was walking out and I just could not stop thinking about the fact that the card that I dropped four grand on was ruined in my mind. I don't know if it's just me, but I would rather this card to not have any signature at all than to have a signature literally covering his face. What do you guys think? If you guys were in my shoes, would you guys like it? Because as a collector, I would never buy this card. So next, let's move on to Vegeta's voice actor, Chris. I feel like all the artists have very strong opinion regarding how and where they would like to sign their signatures because I specifically asked him to use a gold metallic pen to sign in the very bottom of the card. Instead, he told me that he thought purple would go along better with these cards. So he used his own purple pen to sign on my BGS9 Ultimate Force Super Saiyan Blue Vegito right in the middle. Hi, Bulma. Hi. I would love to have my Vegeta signature. Of course. And this one signed both over here. Uh, uh, can I use this one? It looks really, 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 really good. What do you guys think? I think a gold metallic pen would have been better. In the very beginning, he signed right across Vegeta's face, just like Sean. <laughs> Do you want something different? Uh, I wanted a down there. Oh, okay, sorry. Fortunately, since he didn't use my Sharpie, he could remove it and he re-signed in the bottom. 
Luckily, this plastic actually was pretty easy to get it off. Oh, that was there you go. It looks a lot better, but I still feel like gold metallic pen would have went much better with both of these cards because they are BGS graded and, you know, metallic colors go well with metallic color. Everyone has different ways of collecting cards, but for me, color coordination is really important. That's why I wanted all of my cards to be either in metallic gold or silver. After I got all of my cards signed, I went to line up in front of JSA to get all of my cards certified. And over there, someone recognized my Vegeta signature, and we began to talk about how our signatures went. He signed Vegeta signature and Vegeta signatures right across their faces. I guess all the artists just really like signing across people's faces. Is that a recent trend? Ooh, I don't know, but it gives me cringes that the signatures would be directly across someone's face. So out of all the cards that I got signed, I am the happiest with these two. The signed raw card is also very, very sick. And the signed Gohan also looks pretty good too. However, I feel like my signed BGS 10 signature Goku and BGS 9 Ultimate 4 Super Saiyan Blue Vegito are kind of better off without the signature. I don't know. What do you guys think? Actually, I want to remove the signatures, but I don't know if I can. Let's try. So this is a BGS 9.5 Vegeta's Final Flash, and I'm gonna use the same Sharpie that Sean used on Goku's sick, draw a heart on the back. Like this. Gonna let it dry and see if I can remove this. Well, before I'm absolutely sure that I want to remove these signatures, I don't want to remove them because each of Sean's signatures cost $40 and each of Chris's signature cost $50. I don't want to just wipe it off without really thinking about it. This is alcohol pad. It's supposed to remove a lot of things, so let's see. Oh, crap. Okay. After intense scrubbing, it is like coming off little by little. So I'm having hope. Five minutes later. Okay. So I am pretty relieved that the golden Sharpie could be rubbed off. I just wanted to reiterate that I really do not mean any disrespect to Sean or Chris. When I talked to both of them, they were super nice. And I really, really appreciated this awesome opportunity to get to see them in person and get their autographs. But as a collector, I have my own pet peeves and that's color coordination and face. Seeing those out of place just really gives me like a lot of cringes. Well, overall, it was still a very great experience. And this is just a reminder that if you would like to win a Mythic Booster Box giveaway, subscribe and comment below in my previous video. Thank you everyone for watching my video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!